The two diesels surveyed the shed. It's time, 7101, said one, that we took this railway over, says 199. It's their railway after all. Not for long, persisted 199. Our controller says steam engines spoil our image. Of course we do, snapped Duck. We show what frauds you are. Call yourselves engines? If anything happens, you care nothing for your train. You just moan for a fitter. We bring it home, it's only on one cylinder. Nothing, boasted 199, ever happens to us. We are reliable. How rude, said 199. You asked for it, growled 7101. Now shut up. Next day, Henry was rolling home tender first. I'm a failed engine, he mourned. Lost my regulator. Driver says it jammed wide open, and it can't mend it till I'm cool. However, he went on, I've got steam, and driver can use my reverser, but it would happen after Duck fooled me with those tenders. Now they'll laugh at me again. He reached a signal box and stopped, whistling for a road. Opposite the box, on the upline, stood Diesel 199 with a train of oil tankers. Worse and worse, thought Henry. Now old reliable will laugh at me too. For pity's sake, take this spam can away. It's failed. The Limited is behind. And all he does is wail for his fitter. Spam can, fumed 199. I'm stoic, snapped the signalman. Or I'll take my tin opener to you. Now then. 199 subsided in this dreadful threat. And Henry pulled the train out of the way. The diesel didn't help. It just sunk. The Limited rushed by with a growl and a roar. Henry gave a chuckle. Look, spam can, he said. There's your little pal. The diesel said nothing. He hoped 7101 hadn't noticed. 7101 hadn't noticed. He had troubles of his own. He was cross with his coaches. They seemed to be getting heavier. He roared at them, but it did no good. Engines have a pump called an ejector, which draws air out of the train's brake pipes to keep the brakes off. If it fails, air leaks in and the brakes come on. Gently at first, then harder and harder. 7101's ejector had failed. He struggled on for half a mile before being brought to a stand, growling furiously, unable to move a wheel. Well, well, well. Did you hear what Signalman said? I thought they'd be laughing at me, chuckled Henry. Now the joke's on them. Moving two dead diesels in their trains, said his driver thoughtfully. That's no joke for a failed engine. Do you think you can do it? I'll have a good try, said Henry with spirit. Anyway, 7101's better than old Spam Can. He did try and shut him up last night. Come on then, said his driver. We mustn't keep the passengers waiting. Henry gently buffered up to the express. While the two drivers talked, his farman joined his front brake pipe to the coaches. It's better than we thought, Henry, said his driver. The diesel can pull if we keep the brakes off. So the only weight we'll have is Spam Can's goods. Oh, said Henry. He was by now feeling rather puffed. So with 7101 growling in front, and Henry gamely puffing in the middle, the long cavalcade set out for the next big station. Donald and Flying Scotsman were waiting. They cheered as Henry puffed past. He braked the coaches, thankfully. Spam can and the tankers trailed far behind. The passengers buzzed out like angry bees. But the fat controller told them about Henry, so they forgot to be cross and thanked Henry instead. They called him an enterprising engine and took his photograph. They were thrilled, too. 
when flying Scotsmen backed down on their train. If the guard hadn't tactfully shooed them to their coaches, the train would have started later than ever. Return 199 to the other railway, ordered the fat controller. I will write my views later. Henry and 7101 went away together. I'm sorry about last night, ventured the diesel. That's all right. You did shut old reliable up. And, said the diesel ruefully, made a fool of myself today too. Rubbish. A failed ejector might happen to anyone. I'd lost my regulator. You? Failed? exclaimed the diesel. A jet? Well, said Henry, emergency, you know. Trains must get through. 7101 said no more. He had a lot to think about.